وما زال يعبد ربه حتى حضره الأجل اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه الذين كان كل دهرهم كرمضان يدخل عليهم رمضان فما يزيدهم اجتهادا ويخرج رمضان وهم على حالهم من الاجتهاد والعبادة اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحابته وآل بيته وذريته وكل من اهتدى بهديه واستنى بسنته إلى يوم الدين وتزودوا فإن خير الزاد التقوى Take provision, the best provision to take is taqwa. Everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set a time, set a limit, set a term for it. Ramadan came and ends. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the best example that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set for us was work in all of his lifetime. He was ordered to worship his Lord all the way until certainty, death, comes to him. And he did Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. فَإِذَا فَرَغْتَ فَمْصَبْ He was ordered, when, he, when he's done with something, when he's done with a task, with a job, فَمْصَبْ بَيْنَ يَدَيْ رَبِّكَ لِلْعِبَادَةِ أَوْ فَاجْتَهِدْ فِي عَمَلٍ آخر. When you're done with something, get busy with something else. When you're done with أمور الدنيا, the job of the dunya, what you have to do for your life, then get in salah to do some work for the akhirah. Ramadan came and it's over, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always there to worship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always there to listen to and to follow subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's take some provision. Not only in Ramadan, we need to take provision all the time. We need to use a dunya as a farm for the hereafter, as the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa said. We need to take what we can for the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described as يَوْمَ تَجِدُ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ for the day that when every soul will find what it has done there, present in front of it. Whatever you have done now, you will see it in the day of judgment. Ramadan came mainly as an opportunity for us to repent, to amend, to correct. To get back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, we have done so. We came to Allah, we came to witness, we came to taste the ibadah. We came to taste the sweetness of Quran, the sweetness of a dua. Before Ramadan, probably we did not have that strong relationship with Quran. We did not taste that sweetness of an ibadah, of prayer, of making dua, raising our hands and making prayer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, invoking, supplicating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, we have tasted all of that. Ramadan came as an opportunity for us to taste all of that, to stay away from ma'asi, a lot of bad deeds or shortcomings that we usually do. Ramadan came as an opportunity for us to do all of that, to highlight spirituality, to do as many good deeds and be involved in, in as many good deeds as we can. And now Ramadan is over, in Qadr Ramadan. And it, it does not mean that we go back to all of these things. Ramadan is gone, the opportunity for good deeds are gone. No, it's not. The opportunity for good deeds is there every day. Allah Jalla extended the invitation and gave us opportunity five times every day. Yunadi alayna wa yad'una da'i Allah Azza wa Jalla. A caller is calling us five times every day for salah as one opportunity that Allah has given us. So Ramadan is over, but the five daily prayers are there. Opportunity to, to give them sadaqah and charity all year round. You can do it. We have so many opportunities after Ramadan that we need to continue be connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through it. Dua, Allah is always there. If my slaves, servants ask you about me, I am near. I'm there to respond to the caller of the to the call of the caller when he calls me. So if Ramadan is over, Allah is there, and dua is not over. You always need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only in Ramadan. Not only in Ramadan that we need hasanat, good deeds. Not only in Ramadan that we need to make dua. For, 
to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fix our problems and give us more of the good things. We need that all the time. So Ramadan was there just for us to learn, to get closer, to get a, an intensive course. And we passed, alhamdulillah, and we fulfilled it. So let's implement that all year round. Here is one of the chances and opportunities Allah is extending to us, Allah has given us. Yawmul Jum'ah. Allah Ummah. This is a special gift only for this Ummah. There is one portion of time in the day of Jum'ah that no Muslim is praying to Allah Azza wa Jalla and asking anything except that Allah Azza wa Jalla will give him this thing. That's in the day of Jum'ah, according to the hadith of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And scholars said, it's either when the khatib is giving the khutbah right now, or some others believe it's the last hour before sunset. Either way, you have a big chance to, you know, get a lot of your dua, a lot of your prayers being accepted. Allah Azza wa Jalla, wa khaza'inu mal'a, la taghir, la taghiru al nafaqa, abadan. Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala is, yes, He is, extremely generous in Ramadan, but he is always gener generous. He is always, you know, giving a lot. His, you know, he, his treasures are full of gifts. He gives day and night, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So yes, he gives extremely, in an extreme, you know, generosity in Ramadan, but he is always giving, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there is no chance for us to, uh, uh, you know, not to make dua, not to, Take all of these opportunities he is giving us, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Zamma is Salafu Salihu, a quam and laugh, who don't allow a lafuna in Lafir Ramadan. Our predecessors and scholars, they, this phrase, this group of people who know Allah Azza wa Jalla and pray to Him and do good deeds only in Ramadan, these are actually worshippers of Ramadan, not worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. يأتون إلى المساجد فإذا قضى رمضان فلا مساجد يصومون فإذا قضى رمضان فلا صوم يصلون فإذا قضى رمضان فلا صلاة ينفقون فإذا قضى رمضان فلا نفقة وقص على ذلك they worship they come to the مساجد رمضان is over no more مساجد they fast رمضان is over no more fasting they pray رمضان is over no more prayer بئس القوم how bad are these kind of people who know الله عز وجل only in Ramadan seasonal Muslims Yes, we will not be able to go on the same level, the highest, you know, uh, uh, momentum that we have in Ramadan, but does not mean that worship and non-worship, prayer and non-prayer, making dua and not making dua, no. It's not like this. We have to continue at certain level even after Ramadan. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَطِيعُوا اللَّهِ وَأَطِيعُوا الرَّسُولِ وَلَا تُبُطِلُوا أَعْمَالَكُمْ Oh, you who believe, obey Allah, obey His Messenger, and do not turn your actions void. Allah Jalla promised that in the hasanati yudhibna sayyat. Indeed, good deeds will work as wipers for the bad deeds. What does this mean? When you do bad deeds, إذا أسأت فأحسن. When you do a bad deed, أتبع السيئات الحسنة تمحوها. Follow it with a good deed so it will wipe it away. That's a rule. That's a, a, something Allah Jalla promised. But on the other hand. When you do bad deed, when you do a good deed, and then you follow it with bad deeds, tamhapuha. You do a lot of bad, good deeds in Ramadan, and then after Ramadan you do a lot of bad and good deeds in Ramadan, then bad deeds after that, that will actually, you know, take it away. That will wipe it away as well. وَمِنْ عَلَامَةِ الْقَبُولِ قَبُولِ الْحَسَنَاتِ أَنْ بِحَسَنَةِ مِثْلَا If you want to know if your actions, your good deeds are accepted, you look at your attitude after Ramadan. It's a very good, you know, measure. If you want to know whether you are accepted or not, whether you're fasting, prayers, dua, all of the things you did in Ramadan, whether they are accepted or not, you look at your attitude after Ramadan. Do you continue somehow, not, probably not at the same level, but do you continue? Do you do the deeds after Ramadan? Did you learn anything from Ramadan? Did, you, did Ramadan leave any impact on you? If yes, then, alhamdulillah, your fasting is accepted, your prayer is accepted. If there is no impact whatsoever, you came back to the same schedule, to the same ma'as, you did the same bad deeds, and Ramadan did not leave any impact on you, so that's again a sign that your deeds were not accepted. 
ناس الله جل يتقبل منا الله جل يقول والذين يؤتون ما آتوا وقلوبهم وجل أنهم إلى ربهم راجعون and those who do what they did and they have fear in their heart that they are coming back to the Lord and سيدة عائشة تقول يا رسول الله these are the people who do bad deeds and they have fear in their heart that of the Lord that it will not be accepted like Allah will, will, will punish them because of that. He said, لا يبنى الصديق No. Daughter of the trustworthy Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. May I ask my brothers to move forward, inshallah. Make room, inshallah, that the Sahaba yafsah Allah lakum. He said, no, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This ayah, these ayat are not referring to this category of people who do bad deeds and they have fear in their heart. It actually refers to those who do good deeds and they have worries in their heart whether they, these good deeds are accepted or not. So we did the good deed, alhamdulillah. We did what we could, but let's, you know, pay attention that, you know, make dua after that so Allah accepted. Humble ourselves so Allah Azza Jalla, you know, make us amongst the muttaqoon who were accepted in Ramadan. وَلِتُكْمِرُ الْعِدَّةِ وَلِتُكَبِّرُ اللَّهِ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ Complete, and Allah said in the conclusion of the Ayat Siyam, and so that you complete the number of days. And you make takbir, glorify Allah for what He has guided you to, and so that you be thankful. This is the time to be thankful to Allah Azza wa How to be thankful to Allah after He extended all of these opportunities for us? Continue being good. Implement what you learn in Ramadan. We learned sabr. Should have learned sabr in Ramadan patience. Let's put it into practice in the regular time. We learned, you know, generosity and so many. Among so many good deeds, let's put them. If you want to be thankful, you use the ni'mah of Allah, the blessing of Allah for what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to do. One suggestion is, the Nabi sallallahu is giving us in the hadith, man sama Ramadan thumma atba'ahu sitta min shawad kana kasiyam in dhar. However, fast month of Ramadan, and then follow it by fasting six days of the month of Shawwal, this month, is as if he has been fasting forever. Ramadan works for ten months, because every hasana, ten has equal ten hasanat with Allah, and the, the six days equals six, two months with Allah, so that's as if you are fasting all year round. So, take the chance, take the opportunity, and fast six days. You're able to fast 30 days. Now it's recommended to fast these six days. Also, it works like we have the obligatory prayer, we have sunnah before and after, the nafilah. That works like as, you know, to fix any problem in salah, if you have any defect, khushu' is not full in salah, comes the nafila after it to fix these problems, to fill in for these, you know, uh, mistakes that you have done in salat. Same thing, when you fast these, this week, these six days after Ramadan, definitely we had a lot of problems in our fasting, we committed some, you know, we had some shortcomings or some defects that would work as a fill-in or as a fix uh, for these uh, problems. It also works as a shukr for Allah we as like giving thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has guided us for all of these gifts, who has given us all of these gifts, who has forgiven us, he promised to forgive. But Sama Ramadan Iman and Wahtisaban, whoever fasts the month of Ramadan out of Iman, faith, and shooting and hoping for the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all his previous sins forgiven. Now you did that, and Allah promised, and we believe the promise of Allah, and inshallah all our sins are forgiven. So what should we do now? We give thanks to Allah. How do we give thanks to Allah by doing ma'asuri? No, fast to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, show Him thanks. Do uh, ma'as, do I mean uh, ta'at, as many good deeds as you can to show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this kind of uh, like attitude of thankfulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Man amila salihan fa li nafsi, wa man asana fa alayna. Whoever does good deeds for yourself, whoever does bad deeds for itself, Allah azza wa jalla does not wrong His servants, nothing. Whatever you will do, you will see it in the day of judgment. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم فاستغفرونا والغفور الرحيم. الحمد لله رب العالمين. أحمد سبحانه وتعالى فلا أحد يستحق الحمد سواه. وأصلي وأسلم على خيرته من خلقه وصفيه من رسله محمد بن عبد الله. وعلى آله وصحبه وكل من انتدى بهديه واستنى بسنته والتزم طريقه واقتفى أثره إلى يوم أن نلقاه اللهم صلي وسلم وبارك عليه وآله وصحبته أجمعين مواسم الخيرات لا تنقضي أيها الأكارم The seasons of goodness for Muslims, for everybody, for humanity is always there The seasons 
of Allah Azzajalla extended His, you know, mercy to people, opening His His doors for people are always there. Always in Ramadan and after Ramadan. Ramadan is over. Very soon we'll be receiving the the, the, the days of Hajj. Actually, the months of Hajj is starting now. Shawwal all the way to the tenth of the Hijjah. And Hajj is over. You will see another season coming. Allah Azza is always opening doors for Maghfirah and Rahmah and so on. So you fast. You got your previous sins forgiven. Same thing for Hajj. Hajj man Hajj falam yarfuk wa lam yafsuk. Whoever does Hajj with nothing like being committed in there as far as the mistakes or sins. Same thing, he comes back like the same day he was, he came to this life. His mother gave him birth. So a lot of seasons coming after each other back to back, all of that that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to, to repent, to come back to Him, to maximize our benefits. Allah is, is Allah Jalla made riba, usually haram, and He is dealing with that with us. He is giving us benefits and interest. You do one, He gives ten. He gives seven hundred. He gives much more. As far as get these, because He loves for us, to gain as much as we can. It's all on us right now to come back to Allah Azza wa Jalla, to use these opportunities. Humble yourself to Allah and come back to Him before punishment will come suddenly to you. You never know when death is going to happen to you. One brother yesterday in Morocco, uh, father of one of my friends, he dies. Alhamdulillah, as he was sajid in his sujood. You never know, you don't expect death when it's to come. Some people are severely sick and you expect them to, that's the end. They never, I mean, they live longer. And some other people, a young person, you know, all chances there for him. Life is flourishing, you know, you expect a bright future and so on, but all of a sudden, you know, they pass away. You never know. Let's come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. مِنْ قَبْلَ يَتِيَكُمُ الْعَذَابِ ثُمَّ you know, let them sorrow before the punishment comes to you, before, you know, uh, things happen. And taqul nafsun ya hasrata ala ma tarattu fi jambillah. On that day, when you meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a soul, maybe one person will say, ya hasrata ala ma tarattu fi jambillah. He will regret because of how many opportunities that he or she wasted. Allah Azzawajal is giving us this life as a gift, as a precious gift. So, you don't want to waste any single second in it, any single moment in it. For every single second you have ibadah to Allah, a worship to Allah. Worship is not only prayers, it's not only fasting. In every single second and moment of your life, you have something to do to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so you will not regret on the day of judgment. Many people would regret, they will say, I hope that Allah could have guided me. I hope that, you know, that I go back to life to do good. Allah Azza would reply to all of that, Bala, ayati. No, my, my signs, my verses has come to you. They have come to us already. The ayat of Allah Azza it's here. We see the signs of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. We read the verses of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. Allah said, my verses came to you, but you denied them. You grow arrogant. And you deny all of that. We don't want to be that. <coughs> Amongst these group of uh, people, we want to be with those that Allah Azza wa Jalla called. Allah Azza wa would rescue those who uh, gain taqwa. Who always practice taqwa. In Ramadan and fasting, we all know that it came mainly to teach us how to be God conscious, how to fear Allah, how to have self restraint. All of these are meaning. Of a taqwa, what is a wadu fa inna khayr azari taqwa. Take provision, the best provision you take for the hereafter in your journey to Allah Azza wa Jalla, day after day, getting closer to your death, getting closer to Allah Azza wa Jalla, the best provision to take in this journey is khayr azari taqwa, to take a taqwa with you. May Allah Azza wa Jalla ja'alna min muttaqeen, inna ma taqabba wa min muttaqeen. May Allah make us God conscious. May Allah Azza wa Jalla give us a taqwa in all of our actions. May Allah Azza wa Jalla. May Allah forgive all of our sins, Ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us thankful after Ramadan and all the time, Ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us power to always worship Him the way He wants us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue, you know, to open the, His doors for us to read the Quran, to raise our hands and make dua for Him, to pray to Him, to give sadaqah, to do all good deeds, Ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fix all the problems and affairs 
and, and sit straight all the affairs of Muslims, Ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala get the hearts of believers together, Ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala show us the truth as truth and give us the power to follow it and show us the falsehood as falsehood and give us the power to remain and stay away from it, Ya Rabbil Alameen. اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك يا مولانا سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات والله فرجب the believing men and women يا رب العالمين والله give recovery for the sick believing men and women يا رب العالمين والله have mercy on the, the men and women who died who passed away يا رب العالمين may Allah سبحانه وتعالى may Allah سبحانه وتعالى bless all of our time may Allah سبحانه وتعالى bless our families may Allah سبحانه وتعالى bless our properties may Allah سبحانه وتعالى Give us the best that He gave for His righteous people. I pull for the other. Astaghfirullah alaihim. Li wa lakum. Wa akum salat. Inna salat. Inna salat. Inna salat. Inna salat. Inna salat. Kindly check your cell phone and measure, please.